What's up, everybody? Cheers. So Christmas is right around the corner, and I figured we kick off this holiday season with biscotti. Now we're gonna make that extra festive by cooking, making them with some pistachios and some dried cranberries. So let's start cooking. Or should I say baking? So the first thing we're gonna do is that our shortening, with our handy dandy, dandy shortening measure to our mixer. It's one cup and two tablespoons of butter. Just set that down, locker. Turn it on about medium heat, medium heat, medium speed until it's nice and creamy. And that's looking good. So now we're gonna go in with a cup and a half of sugar. Set it back down, locker. Turn her back on medium. Just let that incorporate nicely. It starts going. I like to turn it off, lift her up, just scrape down my sides. Make sure everything's getting in there. I'm just going to turn it back on for a second. Now we're going to turn it to low. Slowly incorporate six eggs. Just let those drizzle in. So all six are in there. All our eggs are in there. I'm going to turn it back up to medium. Just let everything incorporate. Now I'm going to go in with a teaspoon of vanilla extract, three quarters of a teaspoon of anise oil, and a quarter cup of milk. Just gonna let that go for another minute. Now that is what we're gonna call our wet ingredients. Now let's go mix up our dry ingredients. So I got five cups of all-purpose flour here. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of baking powder. I'm going to use a whisk. Just mix that up. To that, I'm also going to add half, half of a cup of dried cranberries and half of a cup of pistachios. And stir all that together. Now, I'm gonna take my wet mixture and just start folding that in. Don't want to work it too much. Just want to fold it. It'll help keep some air in there. It's starting to come together. Put the rest of that in there. Yeah, I'll just mix this up till we got a nice dough. Now that's all come together nicely. So what we're gonna do is about scoop about half of that dough onto our sheet tray, which I got lined with parchment paper. And a little more here. So now this dough is pretty sticky, so I'm gonna take a little water and just moisten my hands so it'll stop it from sticking to my hands while I shape it into a flat little, well, domed oval to make our biscotti shape. Loaf that we're gonna bake. Well, there you go. Now we're just gonna do that to the other half. We got our two logs of biscotti. 
now we're going to go into a 350 de 350 degree oven for 20 minutes okay i think i said 20 minute bake on that and that's the toast time this was a 45 minute bake and it's nice and golden brown and now we gotta let it rest for about a half hour before we slice it right. we're rested now i'm just going to take it off of our board I'm going to go at a slight angle. I'm going to cut these into our biscotti. off there. Back onto our tray to toast. This biscotti means twice baked. So we gotta bake these guys twice. Line them back up on the tray, go back into the oven for another 20 minutes, and toast them up. We are looking good. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget, hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.